An acclaimed exponent of Parvanatyam, Leela Samson now demonstrates a few basic elements of the dance style. To begin with, let us understand the characteristics of Nitta or pure dance. Let us first take up the adoption of a posture. Ancient texts like the Natya Shastra state that there are ten basic postures or structure forms of the body called mandalas. Leela here demonstrates these mandalas from which all other dance movements emerge. Here, Leela demonstrates a few basic steps which make use of the mandalas but also allow a fuller utilization of the stage. Depending upon the school of instruction, a dancer must master between 60 and 100 basic steps. All these basic steps may be performed in three speeds. In Karnatak music, which is the traditional system of music that supports Bharatanatyam, the second speed is a doubling of the first speed, and the third speed is a doubling of the second. Leela switches to the third speed while her student carries on in the second. But since there is a mathematical doubling involved, the two dancers conclude the sequence simultaneously. Let us now consider the movement of the body off the ground. Here you see a few leaps being executed. Next, there is the movement of the body turning on its axis or pirouetting. Once again, there are various kinds of turning actions that a dancer can choose. There are the various types of gates the body may move in. First, the walk of a woman, graceful and sinuous. The gait of a king, proud and authoritative. Moving like a peacock with its feathers opened wide. And the gait of an elephant, swaying and with weighty steps. Leela now demonstrates movement on stage along the floor in different directions. In this, the dancer knits together a variety of the steps you saw earlier. In the delineation of Nritta or pure dance, the Nattuvanar, the dance conductor who wields the cymbals, maintains time, the rhythmic beat. The drummer playing the Mridangam 
adds flourishes to this basic beat. Here you see the verbal recitation of the drum syllables which accompany the dance. Thus, the Nattuvanar, the percussionist and the dancer are the three persons directly involved in the rendition of pure dance. Here you see Leela translating the drum syllables you just heard into dance. We now move on to nritya or mimetic dance. This is where the dancer communicates the essence of a song or lyric through a language of codified hand gestures accompanied by the body as a whole and the evocative use of facial expressions. You will now see Leela and her students demonstrate some of the numerous hand gestures. A Sanskrit stanza from Abhine Darpana depicts the various uses of this particular gesture. One, the Almighty, a hundred, the sun, a city, the universe, to say thus or such is, this or that, isolation or solitude, to reprimand, to grow thin, a rod, the limbs, wonder or surprise, a braid of hair, an umbrella, capability, the palm of the hand, hair, to beat a drum, a potter's wheel, the circumference of a wheel, to think, the end of a day. This anger. The dancer uses such gestures in phrases or sentences. Here, a single line from a verse is first being depicted literally, without any improvisations. And now, the same line is expressed with the dancer's improvisations, which vary with each repetition of the line. The musicians gradually improvise around the original composition, while the dancer, depending upon her virtuosity, improvises around the first literal delineation. The dancer thus adds depth and variety to each presentation, drawing upon her resources of imagination, understanding of the literary base, and mastery of the dance itself. This element of spontaneous improvisation is one of the most remarkable aspects of Indian classical dance, which gives it the quality of freedom and genuine creative expression. Uh... -huh. 
Let me 